Welcome to creating secure login and registration system with email activation using PHP. Now let's see what we are going to build in this course. So this will be our website. You can see we got couple of movies and some information about these movies and all of the information that is showing right now on the screen is completely public. Anyone could see this information but after every single movie we got this button of watch trailer now so if i click on this button now you can see i'm being asked to log in why because only registered user could see the trailers of upcoming movies i can also log in from here i got this tab right here and right now i don't have any account so i have to create one I got this text right here so I'm gonna click on this text don't have an account so now I'm gonna give my information to register so giving my information Jazib Akram and my email Jazib Akram at the rate of gmail.com and if I give in my first password field 12345 and in the second I give 1234789 click on this register button now you can see I got this pop-up message that both password values must be same. So we are going to apply these type of validation checks so that we could only get correct information from the user. So giving my correct information, Jazibakram, email to be Jazibakram at the rate of gmail.com, password to be 12345, same. Click on this register button. It's processing. Now I'm being redirected to login page and I got this successful green message that check your email account for activation. So now before confirming my email, if I try to log in now using my correct information, login, you can see I got this error message that account confirmation required. So here is my Gmail account. You can see I got this email of confirm account. Hi Jazib Akram, here is the link to activate your account. So if I click on this link, I got this success message that account activated successfully and I'm on my login page. So now if I log in with the correct email but with the wrong password and try to log in now, you can see I got this invalid email and password error message. So if I give my correct email and password to be correct one one two three four five and let's not click on this remember me feature for now and click on this login you can see i got this success pop-up that i am logged in and also this button of login has been changed into logout and uh, i can click on these watch trailer now to watch the movies trailer whatever i want i can go back and watch some other movie trailer as well i can go back and access all the public and private pages of this website because i'm still logged in and if i close this browser window from here and open my browser again and try to visit my website again and click on these watch trailer now you can see i got this login button it means that i'm not logged in click on this watch here now i'm getting this message of login required so giving my email and password correct one and also let's see this remember me feature so clicking this one as well click on login i got this success message logout button has been established i can watch the trailer of these movies and let's close the browser window again and if I visit my website again, you can see I'm still logged in because I take the remember me feature. So let's log out now. I'm logged out and uh, this button has been changed to login. So clicking on this login, suppose that I forgot my password. So I got this option right here, forgot password. So I'm gonna click on this forgot password. It's asking me to give my email. So in case if I give some wrong email like jazibakram123 at the rate of gmail.com click on submit you can see we got this error message email not found because there is no such email registered on our website. 
so now let's give correct email to reset our password with email so already a member log in click on this forgot password option now giving my correct email jazibakram at the rate of gmail.com submit i can also go back click on submit now it's processing you can see i got this success message check email for resetting password and i'm on my login now page and in my email account you can see i got this email that reset password here is the link to reset your password jazib akram so clicking on this link you can see i am on the page where i can easily reset my password so giving my new password 1234561234567789 1234567789 wrong password both field click on submit you can see i got both password values must be same and i'm still on that page where i can reset my password and if i try to submit with the empty field i'm getting this pop up so these type of validation we are going to apply on our every single field in this project so giving my 123456 new password click on submit you can see password changed successfully login now so entering my correct email and correct password that i just changed 123456 clicking on remember me feature login you can see successful login and i got this message and the login button has been changed to log out now i can watch any of the movie which i want i can browse full website all the registered pages and the public pages as well no problem at all and i can easily log out whenever i want so in case if the user try to cheat us like if he copy the link of our registered user page or bookmark it and then log out and after logging out if he try to reach back to that page without logging in then he will be able to see this error message login required so there will be no way the user is going to enter into our private pages without logging in and one more thing i want to show you and that is if i try to log in and say that i don't have an account and try to register from the email that is already registered with our website click on this register button and i'm getting this error message that email is already in use so one email cannot be registered twice on our website so we will add many things like this in this course so this is the system that we are going to build in this course and you will learn many tips and tricks in this project in this course you are going to learn about many thing first i will show you how you can still protect your user cardinals even if the security of your website got compromised we will learn about password encryption and then i will teach you about many hashing algorithms and at last we are going to pick one hashing algorithm and we are going to implement it in our project and in our project we will code registration and login system completely so first on our website the user is going to enter his information and then we are going to send him one email that will ask him to confirm his email account like the facebook and many big website and later in case if the user forgot his password we will add password reset feature that will allow user to reset his password using registered email this project will be very easy and i will show you each and every step in complete details and the great thing about our project is you can implement it on any of the website out there on the internet and i will show you how you can do that my name is jazib akram and i will see you inside